Hi, I'm Chad Steinkamp with Northern Country Co-op, and today we're going to see the results of the underwear challenge. All right, so we're out at our uh, sustainable answer acre plot near uh, Lansing, Minnesota. So what we're doing out here is testing um, sustainable practices versus normal or conventional practices. So on one side of the field, we're trying to test uh, cover crops, no-till, and uh, um, strip tilling the fertilizer in versus uh, a conventional acre. So work in the ground in the fall, um, uh, work in the ground in the spring, no cover crop concepts or anything like that. So what we try to, we're trying to do then is then we'll compile everything together at the end of the year with cost per acre for um, doing all those steps and then comparing uh, the yield versus, uh, versus the cost. But one of the things we thought of about a month ago was this underwear challenge. And I've had a lot of comments about when am I going to get the underwear out of the ground? Well, today's your lucky day. So for the people that don't know, about 40 days ago on the 28th of June, we came out here in a downpour and we buried a few pairs of underwear out in this plot. One on the sustainable side of the field, and then, or on the conventional side of the field, and one on the sustainable side of the field. And we're going to compare and contrast. So since this is our second take, he's dubbed some things to make it work, so bear with me here. So this, is, uh, this was the pair that came out of the conventional acre, and you can see there are definitely some, uh, some bullet holes in here. You can see that there's some things been, that, is, that has decomposed a little bit. We got cotton here, so it's, a, it's an organic compound, and uh, the bugs in the ground like the decomposed organic compounds. But you can see for the most part, it's shredded up a little bit. We probably had some earthworms working on it as well. Over here, this is the sustainable side. So you can see this is definitely uh, a lot more decomposed versus the other one. Um, if I hold it up, I don't even need to make any jokes about that. But you can kind of see it's definitely a lot more decomposed than the, the other pair. So if I'm looking at this right, why are we seeing this? Well, in a sustainable situation, we're going after the, or we're trying to do method or things that will make the ground more healthy. So we, we are doing things that help keep the uh, bacteria in the ground, the fung fungal uh, pathogens in the ground, decomposing things as, as the season goes on. And the reason why we see it more in a sustainable aspect is we're doing, we're doing something that, um, to keep that soil from moving around, getting mixed around, uh, tore up by tillage. And when we do that, we see benefits to that with decomposition and release of, um, of uh, organic materials it back into nutrition that our corn crops and our soybean crops can use. So as we go along, we're gonna continue to watch this field, but it, it's crazy the amount of decomposition we've seen just in 40 days. If we would have done this over 60, I really don't think there would be a whole lot left of this uh, pair over here. Um, we did have one in the driveway, but I can't seem to find that one, and uh, I'm not going to sit here and dig all day. But I'd be kind of curious to see what it would, what it looked like here in the in the grass. Maybe it would look about the same or similar to um, what we we seen in the uh, sustainable plot. Um, if you have any questions on this, give me or any of the other uh, Northern Country Co-op agronomists a call. And uh, we can walk you through this plot and kind of show you what we're seeing out here. And uh, we'll go from there. Have a great day.